Oh my God. Hello everyone, I'm back. We're going to do another I Hate Facebook Marketplace. And I tell you what, I did one a long time ago. I think I'll be doing more starting now. We're gonna call this episode two. I Hate Facebook Marketplace. So last night, get a message from a guy. His name is, well, I don't know what his name is. If you can read that type of language, I don't understand that writing. Whatever this guy's name is, let me know in the comments. He messages me near midnight about a modem that I have for sale. Look at the title on that modem. Surfboard SB6141 DOCSIS 3.0 cable, cable modem. <coughs> okay, that's pretty descriptive in itself. Let's take a closer look at the actual ad on Facebook Marketplace to see if there's any way you could be confused as to what this is. Look at that beautiful, crisp, clear photo. One of five photos. You can even zoom in on this daddy. Look at the zoom. It's got the make, the model, the series, model number, photos, description. It's like you were looking at it at the store. And if you didn't know what you were looking at at the store, you would ask for help or just Google it or read. Learn to read Facebook Marketplace shoppers. I hate Facebook Marketplace. Look at this, I'm a good seller on here in the face of the morons, the moronacy, is that a word that I've been dealing with for, I don't know how long I've been selling on here, since the beginning, years. All kinds of description I type out for everything I'm selling. Oh my goodness, it's got all the information. Keep that in mind. Look at the photos. Look at all these beautiful photos. Let's go back. Let's go back to our conversation here. Hi Ryan, is this still available? Yes, it's available. What is that when you see your name and is this available? That means they press the button. That's all people do on Facebook. Marketplaces, press the button. I wish they would get rid of the button. Anyway, yes, it's available. Look at that, that's at 11.02 p.m nearing midnight you are is mandeville that is correct just like the listing says in the description in the details and the map yep i'm in mandeville louisiana do you ever come across the lake okay this guy wants me to pay a five dollar toll and drive across the world's largest overwater bridge to help him out for a 17 dollar modem i already know where that's going like tomorrow i actually will be going closer to him tomorrow not in that direction but closer, what time? Between four and 7 p.m., old Ryan from Silly Re Reviews is moving. That's why I'll be out there, but I could just bring it with me a little closer for him. Let's, let's get 17 bucks in my pocket. Everything seems to be going well. He's not an American or not an, an American born person based on the research I did on his profile. So I figure maybe he might be a little, a little less, um, a little less stupid. Can you say the R word? on YouTube, I don't know, but I thought he had a few more marbles in his head. Uh, we'll find out that he does not. Can you bring it with you? I'll drive to your place and get it. This sounds great. This sounds absolutely great. Now, here's what I like to do. I don't believe anyone. I don't trust anyone. I have no faith in anyone on Facebook Marketplace. I like to talk to people on the phone because if I ask for their number or I give them my number or I give them, actually, I use a Google Voice number that I give them because uh, these people on Facebook Marketplace are apparently morons and losers anyway and if you can relate if you sell on marketplace please start banging away your comment let some of that frustration out so anyway i asked him what his number is i'll touch base with him when i hit the road don't like to get my expectations up with these folks uh do you cross the causeway see he wants me to pay that toll over that big old bridge to get super close to him because i saw where he goes to school at university uno and where he lives at so where I'm going, I'm not gonna do that for a $17 modem, but I will be somewhere that's closer for him anyway. Uh, so I'll let him know which direction I take. And that's his phone number. I'll try to edit this out. So in a previous message, he gave me his phone number. That's cool, everything seems promising, but here it is. Here's the problem. Is it a router and modem? Well, did the listing say it was a router and modem? Did anything in the picture show you that it had router capabilities, Wi-Fi capabilities? Did you Google the model number if you were unsure? Why are we this far into a conversation? Uh, halfway made plans for you to ask if this has features. It clearly does not. I knew it was coming, almost midnight. 
I just play stupid. I say, I don't know. Since all the info is there, Google it. It's time for rest. I'll message you tomorrow. So I message him this morning. I asked him if he Googled it. I already know what the result's going to be. Even if he replies, most people at this point don't even reply. This guy's a, a decent, half decent on the scale of Facebook users, half decent person. So he does reply. Yes, it's just a modem. I need a modem router, modem and router built in. So uh, I, I get a little sarcastic with him. Seems so from the pictures of the box that said modem and it didn't have any Wi-Fi lights or mention of Wi-Fi. I did not pay attention to that. Now that is what Facebook marketplace shoppers, that's what they're all about. I did not pay attention to that. I didn't read anything. I didn't analyze the photos. I didn't read the description. I didn't fully read the title. None of that. I just pressed the is this available button and they need to get rid of that button. So I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that, but I want both. So I kind of let it rip a little bit here, folks, because again, <laughs> I hate Facebook marketplace. No one does anything on here but press the is this available button. It's annoying. No matter the value of the item, a $15,000 truck or a $17,000 modem, no one on here reads anything. All they do is press the button. It's a very good, okay, I get a little weird, get a little psycho here, I admit it. It's a very good thing I didn't end up driving across the causeway to help you, only for you to say it's not what you need, even though the pics and the title and the description clearly tell the make, model, and features. I may have lost my mind, and I do lose my mind every time I have to interact with one of these room temperature IQ Facebook users, Facebook marketplace users. But here he goes, if you drove to here, I would take it, even if it's not what I want. Well, isn't that commendable? And then he puts sorry. Again, this, this person is at least a few points better than every hundred other, before I run into a guy like this, hundred others on Facebook Marketplace. So I said, well, at least you would do the honorable thing. Thanks anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, if you sell on Marketplace, if you if you sell on Craigslist and are considering Marketplace, I hope this helped you. But if you sell on Marketplace and you can relate, uh, I would love to read your uh, your horror stories. And maybe if we get enough noise going with this I Hate Facebook Marketplace series, uh, they might fix it. Who knows? Ryan here, Silly Reviews. I hope you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I will reply. I've been doing it for over 15 years. You take care and keep your sanity. I'll sure try to keep mine. By the time 09 rolled around, I was looking up consent pages in my local town. 16 would be sweet, and you know I couldn't wait. Six more years, and Raymond would have a date. I asked Dad for his blessing, and he hesitated. He was begging me to wait, so we had a debate. Daddy let me penetrate. How about